Today I'm going to show you how to flash a custom ROM to your ZTE Nubia Z7 Mini. Custom ROMs replace the stock firmware and are sometimes based off of stock Android, CyanogenMod, Mod, or even MIUI. The latest stock firmware on the ZTE Nubia Z7 Mini does not include Google Apps, although PandaWell sells the phone with older firmware that includes the Google Apps. This guide will work regardless of what firmware version you are currently running. By performing these steps, you will be completely wiping the contents of your device. Please make sure to perform backups before continuing. I've worked very hard to make this guide as easy to follow as possible. If you do have a question, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. I do suggest that you watch the whole video before doing any of these steps. A PC is not required to perform these steps. Lucky for you, I've already collected the files you need to actually flash a custom ROM. However, the first thing that you need to do is actually find and download a custom ROM. There are many floating around on the internet, including ones that are based off of CyanogenMod and MIUI. I will be flashing a ROM based off of MIUI, and you can find the link in the description. ROMs are constantly changed and updated, so please be sure to check the links in the video description to a thread over on XDA Developers that attempts to collect many of the custom ROMs available for the ZTE Nubia Z7 Mini. When choosing a ROM, you need to make sure that it is for the ZTE Nubia Z7 Mini. ROMs for other devices, even the Z7 or Z7 Max, will not work with this phone. Since you are wiping your data during this process, please feel free to experiment. You don't need to pick one and stick with it. There are many options available. At this point, it is assumed that you have already downloaded a ROM in the zip format and copied it to the root of your phone's internal SD card. You can download a ROM using your phone's web browser and then moving it from the download folder to the SD card folder using the Stop File Manager app. If you do not have the File Manager app, I suggest you use ES File Explorer. I will not be using this app for this tutorial, but if you need it, you can download it from bit.ly forward slash ESF Explorer. Once you have your custom ROM downloaded, you'll need to go to your phone's web browser and visit bit.ly forward slash ZTE Z7 Mini Files. This will download the files you need to root and install the custom recovery. While you're waiting for the download to complete, go to the phone settings, tap Security and Location, tap Installment Manager, and finally enable installation of apps from unknown sources. Once the files have downloaded, extract them using the Stack File Manager app, or if you don't have that, use ES File Explorer. Extract them to the default directory. You only need to use these files while the phone is booted into Android. Once all of these files have been extracted, install and open Towel Root to root the phone. If you're having issues, try upgrading to the latest stock firmware. Otherwise, open the app and press Make It Rain. Go back to the file manager and install Super SU. There is no need to launch this application. Just make sure that it is installed. Next, install Rasher. This tool will help us flash the recovery image. Once it has been installed, open it and select Flash Recovery Image. You'll want to select the cwm-recovery.img image. If you ever do wish to return to stock, you can flash the stock-recovery.img image. You can substitute the CWM recovery image using the ones found on XDA developers that I have linked in the description, but I will be using CWM for the purpose of this guide. Once you have it flashed, go ahead and reboot into recovery. We're almost there. Next, you want to use the volume up and down keys to navigate through the menus. First highlight wipe data slash factory reset and press the power button to select it. Once the data has been wiped, go to Advanced, Wipe Delvic Catch. When you have completed those steps, select Install Zip from SD. Select SD Card 0 to choose the ROM that is on the internal SD card. You'll now want to select the custom ROM that you downloaded and flash it. You may have to wait a few minutes for it to install, but once it has completed, go ahead and restart. If you receive any messages asking whether to fix root or protect recovery from stock reflash, select yes. The first boot may take several minutes, so please be patient. If it takes more than 15 minutes, turn off the phone, press and hold volume up and power until you feel a vibration. Keep holding volume up, and then do another factory reset once you're in the recovery. Otherwise, just be patient. Once it completes the boot, you will now see the custom ROM you just flashed. You can now use the phone as you normally would. If your custom ROM is not pre-rooted, you may repeat the earlier steps to root the device again using Towel Root. 
If you do wish to return to stock, just flash the stock firmware from ZTE's website using the custom recovery and then reflash the stock recovery by repeating this tutorial. Afterwards, perform a factory reset using the stock recovery to remove the root access. If this guide helped you, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more phone unboxings, reviews, and guides.